It was her 12th DWI arrest, but she'll never go on trial for it. That's because of an odd chain of events that includes a move by prosecutors that police say backfired. News 13's Chris McKee follows the trail of what happened on special assignment. Her 26 mug shots alone make it clear Lucy Kowalchuk is used to run-ins with the law. She's no stranger to the Albuquerque Police Department. Police say she's been arrested for DWI at least 12 times. What am I being detained for? Her most recent drunk driving case seemed clear cut. I smell some alcohol coming from you. How much have you had a drink tonight? Well, a few beers. A few beers? But today, Kowalchuk is free and clear from that DWI. The case was dropped, and it has APD worried she caught a break through a legal trick. When it happens like this, uh, it's, it's very troubling. February 22nd, 2015. You're not recording the f***ing abuse, you mother to talk to me! Just after midnight... I want pictures of this shit. Albuquerque police booked Kowalchuk at MDC once again. She was mad, accusing cops of letting her fall in a holding cell, which they deny. Mother pig! Police believe Kowalchuk crashed into a fence in a parking lot at the Camino Real Apartments on Corrales Road near Alameda. A year and a half later, that fence is still missing. The night of the crash, people at the apartments found a car against the fence smashed and abandoned. The fence poles hit and damaged nine parked cars. One man told police he heard the crash. A witness that lived in the apartment complex uh, immediately ran to his window, uh, saw the accident scene, and observed Mrs. Kalachuk exiting the vehicle from the passenger side. That witness said the driver walked away before officers got there. Police say a sheriff's deputy found the woman hiding behind this telephone pole just a few blocks away from where the crash happened. Police knew Kowalchuk's history and also found out the wrecked car was registered to her daughter. A few beers. A few beers? Yeah, but it's not a, it's not a... How many beers? I any. Within 10 minutes, the witness identified Kowalchuk as the driver he saw crawl out of the wrecked car and police arrested her. I want pictures of that right here. Listen to me, I need you to remove your sweatshirt. She refused a breathalyzer and was charged with aggravated DWI. This year, the DA's office was about to take the case to trial. But then the case went out the window. Court filings by the Bernalillo County District Attorney's Office state, quote, in light of all the evidence, including testimony from a defense witness named Pete Guevara, the state can't prove Kowalchuk was driving. So who is this Pete Guevara and how did he torpedo the case? Court documents show he's a friend of Kowalchuk's who randomly came forward months after the crash with a confession claiming he was driving, not Kowalchuk. The problem? Even if he was telling the truth, he couldn't be charged for the crash. That's because Kowalchuk's attorney had asked for immunity for Guevara for his testimony, and the DA's office agreed to it. Both APD and prosecutors don't think Guevara was involved, but cops believe the uncommon legal ploy did Kowalchuk a huge favor. People can come forward now and be and say, oh yes, it was me, it definitely wasn't that person, but I want immunity to say that. And the judge can grant that, and then no one is held accountable. The DA's office refused an on-camera interview, but told us it wouldn't have been right in this case to block a defense witness that could help prove Kowalchuk's innocence and immunity was the only way that that witness would testify. But the DA's office insists the case would have fallen apart anyway. They say the bigger factor was losing their only eyewitness. He moved out of state, plus his story changed. The witness initially told police he was in his living room watching TV, heard a crash, and went to his patio to see Kowalchuk crawling out of the car. But this is what he told prosecutors months later. All I can remember is I was sitting there and petting the dogs, and I looked up and I seen headlights coming. They were coming at good speed. APD still wanted her to be tried, but with no other eyewitnesses, the DA's office says the case was dead. We showed the case to a former prosecutor and longtime defense attorney. Do you feel it would be hard for the state to prove this case? Absolutely. Osama Rashid says he agrees with the DA's decision. You've lost your primary witness that puts this person behind the wheel of the car, and you have somebody else coming forward to say that they're the driver. Uh, that
that is uh, just a recipe for beyond a reasonable doubt not being able to be met. Regardless of what sank the case, one thing remains clear. You have nine victims of an auto accident that are now not going to get justice. On special assignment, Chris McKee, KRQE News 13. We have posted a deeper look at some of the filings and evidence in this case on our KRQE News app.